okay, this is how I did a Mandalorian or just really any kind of costume helmet um, voice amplifying kit. Um, well, it didn't come from a kit. I, I butchered it together. Um, uh, lessons learned along the way. But anyway, I got a final product that actually uh, works pretty well. Um, so uh, the things you need, of course, are whatever you're putting it in a helmet. Um, I use two speakers. So I've got one here, one here. I'm actually using two different types of speakers, but we'll go over that later. You've got a microphone. You can hear it. Um, here's just to test it out. Test, 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 test. This is my better quality speaker over here. It um, actually has some bass and it uses the helmet actually as a, um, a speaker itself. Um, so it's actually an exciter rather than a full on speaker. And then I have a little tinny um, speaker on the other side uh, that that um, gives that just kind of uh, more kind of Star Wars kind of feel of um, just a little bit of a tin sound. Um, but I also wanted a little quality sound too. So between the two, uh, I like how it turns out. But anyway, um, so turn that off now. But uh, aside from that, two speakers, um, wiring, of course, um, an integrated circuit microphone, uh, just a couple bucks on Amazon, a, um, a three watt amplifier, just a few bucks on Amazon, uh, more wires and a three volt battery or correction, a 3.7 volt battery. Um, yep. And so how it all came together. Here's what it looks like on the inside. I, um, I used this thing uh, to drill out these evenly, and then I mount them both in there. This one, as an exciter, actually has um, a tape on the front, so it'll adhere to the helmet and turn that into the vibrating surface that makes a speaker. And uh, So the more vibration surface it has, the louder it is. Uh, this is the kind of tinny one. There's a 2 watt, there's a 4 watt. Um, the, um, the amp is a three watt. So if I turn it up too much, this one starts, uh, jabbering a little too much and gets a little, a little more squealy and jumpy. Um, so I just don't, I just don't max it out. Um, um, so this design is not the final design here. I mean, it's all the pieces, but, uh, I'm going to move things around. This was just kind of to test things out. Um, but I'm probably going to locate the mic right here in the front, uh, remote this around the back along with the, um, along with the battery, but just to show you how it's all put together, you know, speakers, you know, wire, wire to speakers. Um, but now let's, let's take a look at this. Let me get you in focus. I'll get this out of your background. Um, So this is the this is the product number. I think it's Max forty four sixty six. Um, there, you can find a, a variety of these on Amazon. They're uh, pretty decent. It's got three uh, different um, places where you can solder. And uh, so what I did was I soldered power to VCC. That's positive. That's your negative. Goes on ground. And then for audio out, you typically have uh, would have a positive and negative. But on this, you don't need it. Um, I actually wired the out through a resistor because if you just wire this directly to this, it just right out of the box, it's just uh, jumpy and loud and squealy and stuff like that. So this just kind of tones everything down because um, this has a, a preamp built in. So I think something with that kind of messes everything up or something. But anyway, so this, this chills it all out. And, um, and then what I did was I brought it into this particular spot on the board here. Um, They've got it as LGB, and I think it's supposed to be LGR, but whatever. So this is just basically where the right speaker would have plugged in, and that would have been your ground for the right speaker. But it all works actually just without using the ground. And so I go into the B or the R or whatever you want to call it. Because um, this has a uh, 3 watts for um, stereo, but we're doing only mono here. This mic is obviously mono. So... That's, that's where you'd wire that. Um, th this is all trial and error, so you're, you're not gonna find any manuals online for this, at least I didn't when I searched around. Um, 
and then so also uh, power um, that's where the power comes into this main board or correction the uh, not the main board but a uh, the amp um, you can't really see but it's 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 well labeled um, I've I've done so much um, moving around that I kept breaking the wires off by testing different things so the solder's not looking very clean right now I have to clean all that up later but anyway it's got the positive and negative well labeled and then regarding the uh, right out um, so this is where my speaker comes out and because I'm feeding this into the right hand side like I said it's labeled B but it really means R it's left ground right um, and then so it comes out the right speaker or this is it comes out yeah the right speaker portion of this board which is where I actually have the two speakers linked in um, and I've got them soldered front and back and again it was kind of a butcher job to uh, just test everything out and that's what worked for me um, and it was a lot of trial and error I was about to give up until I read something online where somebody said that uh, a lot of these amps um, aren't wired well and are missing are missing um, uh, resistors or something like that and somebody was saying I put a 4.7 volt or 4.7 million ohm resistor and that's what it helped for me and I'm like well I don't have that large but I do have a 1 million ohm so I was gonna start daisy chaining them but I tried one and it worked um, so uh, yeah so that's that's how it's all wired up for me um, hopefully that that really should save you a boatload of time because it cost me a lot of time um, Hopefully this works out well for you. I think you might have, I, I don't remember if I tested it out. Let me go ahead and test it out just to give you the example of what it sounds like. This is a, this is a, I, I also tested another uh, amp board and it had more stuff on it. I like this one because it's smaller and it's a, it's a lower profile. And also it has, um, I'll, I'll just show you the other one. And this, so this one I got working as well and that's all the parts, but so it's just a little more busy and um, got the same function out of it, but it's just larger and a larger footprint. And what it didn't have that this one does is an off and on, so you can hear it kind of clicking. So now it's probably gonna start squealing if I point this here. But you can, um, should be able to hear that already, but let me, let me try and uh, see if I can get you. So this is, kind of what it's going to sound like ish uh these aren't so solidly put on especially the larger actually you're probably hearing my voice combined with this i'll put this speaker up closer to the phone so this speaker that's facing the phone right now is not well put to the side but when i adhere it to the side of the tape then it'll treat the entire helmet as a a speaker so it's going to be a lot deeper and um, provide a lot better quality sound and then the other speaker which i'll bring around now is this little tiny one um yeah it's not visual to you sorry about that just trying to get it in sight so this one here is a smaller and this is the one that kind of gives kind of the tin sound so it's the hybrid of the two um yeah, because I'm trying to get everything up here um, all nice and close together. I'm getting a lot of feedback. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to manage that inside, right? So when it's inside the helmet, it's viable. If it's if I keep the uh, potentiometer uh, turned down enough, potentiometer is just this this little knob thing that, that basically increases or decreases resistance. Um, so if I turn it up, it's going to give me more problems. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna finish this thing off. Um, now you kind of have an idea of what, how to put this thing together. Uh, you've seen the parts um, and you could be able to do it yourself. Um, yeah, you just need a little soldering capabilities and, um, and to go from there and uh, some wiring and stuff like that too. Um, and then for the, uh, for the batteries, these aren't, easy to charge straight out of the box right um so you can get something like this which is you know like 10 bucks on amazon this is not perfect you can see there's pieces already broken off 
um, but it works. Um, it's the cheapest one, but you can get, you can probably get better ones. Well, you can definitely get better ones. But anyway, when I put these things in, these things grip and they just rip these completely out of the board, which actually turned out to be okay as long as you know you're positive and negative because then it goes on and off without a problem. Um, but anyway. So that's my setup and uh, hopefully that, that helps you um, manage to do, do yours uh, in a lot quicker time than uh, what it took me. Um, it's been, I've been kind of butchering through this for off and on for a couple weeks and uh, finally had that breakthrough tonight. Um, so I'm sharing, hopefully um, it helps you. Uh, please leave a thumbs up um, if, you, if it helped you at all. Um, hopefully, hopefully it did. Um, any questions, let me know. I'll see if I can answer them. I am not an electronic, elect, electrical engineer or anything like that. So like I said, I just kind of butcher things and figure it out. Fortunately, the electronics are pretty forgiving. Um, yeah. And, um, well, good luck with whatever you're building. Uh, take care. Give a thumbs up. I'm out.